What's going on guys, Sub here, and welcome back to another episode on 1.16 Minecraft Survival. I believe this is episode, what, 5, 6, one of those two? I haven't actually checked, so yeah. Anyway, it's it's been a while, I would say about a week, I think, and, to, and, and yeah, <laughs> about a week. Anyway, our villager breeder is absolutely packed right now, and we need to start doing something about this. So today, we're going to be working with the villagers yet again. And we are going to be working on something brand new. I haven't built, I've built something like this before, but I haven't actually built this exact one. Now today we're going to be building probably the best iron farm you could possibly build in Minecraft right now. I mean, you could make this 10 times bigger than the smallest version, but we're building the best iron farm. So I'm kind of going to do this tutorial style, so I suppose to start with this. Now this is, let me just get up in the air. As you can see, it's a sort of grit. Each one of those small squares is 9x9, nine nine, and this big one's 13x13 13 13 for an added total of a 23x23 23 23 area. Uh, now basically how this works is these four squares are iron golem dumping chambers basically, where the iron golem's going to drop down, they're going to die, and we're going to get the drops. This bigger square is going to be a minecart track where a zombie is going to go around and be, and it's timed perfectly so that we can, uh, yeah, so that we can actually... That was very easy. <laughs> so that we can just, uh, yeah, we, so we can just do stuff with the, uh, I completely lost my train of thought. So yeah, zombie goes on the minecart track, and they basically just are timed perfectly so that every time it stops at a villager area, one iron golem spawns. For a total of four iron golems in like a minute. So that's, that's a good amount of iron, I think. I don't know the exact timings, but four iron golems, pretty fast. Anyway, uh... Basically, all the tutorials say to go up 10 blocks and then dig holes downward, but we are in an amplified world and I'm on top of a mountain. I don't really have room to dig holes, so instead I'm going up 25 blocks. Uh, everything you need is kind of in here. It's not exact, so I recommend finding a proper tutorial. I'm just going to be building it here. So, yeah, 13 by 13, 9 by 9, one block in between. So, I gotta head up here first. And, oh boy, this is actually going to be kind of difficult. I a few moments later we're gonna want to do one block there and go out four there and then well not like that one two three like that should look like an l we just fill it in very simple so i'm gonna actually place in most of the minecart track right now and i'm actually gonna destroy this glass and uh this right here because we should be able to land up there now i'm gonna Okay guys, so I've put in all the glass and the basically shell of the Minecraft track. Basically, it was this little L shape thing that I showed you. We go down one block off here, and then do three glass, three glass staircase, another L, down two, back up, L, and yeah, it just keeps going around like that. Alright, so I just put in all the rails, all the pressure plates, and the slabs and levers. Basically, at the back of this uh, one block you put under glass, you just put the lever to power all rails. You only need 24 power rails, just six on each. And then you do this little pressure plate and slab things on the L's for the water, which goes like that. Whoop. Not like that. No. I have more power rails. Uh, I forgot you actually have to do one thing before you do that. You have to place an open... Uh, fence gate at the end of each one of these just so the water stops and the zombie in the minecart can keep going which is very useful and as, as for the zombie we found down there fun fact when it's daytime and it's raining when the zombie is in a minecart the rain won't keep it from getting on fire it'll stay on fire while it's raining if it's in a minecart i didn't know that and that just killed the zombie which honestly is kind of fine i was expecting it to be a bit annoying and i didn't have a name tag anyway so yeah, you just gotta put all the water in, and that's this step. Now, the next part is pretty simple as well. We just have to actually do it, which is... Oh, not that. I need to go up and put a little just slab roof on top. Although, I would rather it be one higher for the sake of uh, mobs not spawning on top. So, let's get this in place. 
All right, guys, so I just did the first villager cell. I'm just going to duplicate these on the, all the sides. No need to really show you that. And basically how you build this is in line with that glass block, you want to go basically at the corner of uh, this little 9x9 nine nine square. You just go up the same amount you went to build uh, your glass platforms and place a block. You then do two slabs facing the water area and a piece of redstone on top. Uh, in previous versions, this should be a fletching table and two stone cutters, but because the in 1.16 villagers don't need crafting stations to summon iron golems, I'm just going with a regular block and two slabs, which will work fine. Uh, so from that, you just build out these small things and place the beds on top of the beds, the two closest to the redstone dust. You place two pieces of string, you then do two carpets on top of that, and then you place a temporary bollock and place two end rods. Now, I never said this was early game, you do need end rods. Uh, next, uh, there's actually this issue where with the iron golem chambers, villagers will glitch uh, from cramming issues through the beds and land at the iron golem killing chamber, which you don't want your villagers in there. So if you just build this three by three wall on the back of these two beds, you'll be fine. And I actually also have to take out these uh, small blocks, I believe. So I'm going to do that villager chamber and now i'm going to show you the iron golem chamber so basically this is the tempering block well permanent block i guess that we use to put the redstone on top of and orient the beds so you want to go one under there place glass block then two down once more and do a two high wall in the night on, on the nine by nine square like directly in line with that square you dug down there all right so from there you're going to want to go uh one more down not with glass though just with slabs this is these two are on different blocks clearly and then you're going to want to place the, all this whole floor of slabs now interesting enough you're going to want to go for two by two from the villager corner and then from the rest of the from this the back corner it's going to be a three by three uh because you want this uh two by two square closer to the villager chamber so you just have one, two, square, and then one, two, three. So it's two by two, then three by three. And then from there, you're gonna wanna start putting in your water, uh, just one bucket in every corner. I built this little infinite water source here. And make sure to put it on the glass block and not the, uh, well, I don't know what happened to my other water bucket. Make sure to put it on the glass block and not the slab because you can waterlog slabs and the water will go through. So with it like this, it'll push, the water will push the iron golem that spawns in here directly to the center, which is what you want. All right, guys, so that's basically the entire iron farm, what I just showed you. I put in the other three modules, and now we're actually gonna get into where we're gonna put all these drops, because that's something we're gonna have a bunch of problem with, I think. So I got 10 chests here, and I want them all to be in this central area, all the drops. Now, how do we exactly do this? We could have two sides, but I'd rather everything goes into one central, storage area so there we go so you have all that uh i should probably put in this last shell Ooh. Ooh. ah exactly enough wood in there perfect so there's the last chest here and basically we're just gonna want all the drops to end up going in there now these 12 hoppers are gonna be used for some stuff but we got more in there and i got the droppers as well all right so the iron golems are going to fall down. Let's see. We got... I just need to figure out exactly what I'm doing. So two, two. So it should be right here or that. That they're going to fall. So now what we're going to need is we're going to need our dropper clock. That's the first thing we're going to be building here. And essentially it's going to be uh, this with... I just need a block, uh, that works. Go with this, we put in compare. So basically, whenever an item is put in the dropper, that'll activate and shoot it out, which is perfect, because that's where all the iron's gonna be. Now, the next step is, actually, I need some proper blocks here. Building these towers is really boring. <laughs> I must say, I really must say, this is getting old very fast but it's a necessary step to make sure the iron golems don't go anywhere so i can't complain too much it is needed uh ow <laughs> so i put in all of the uh water lines so all the water pathways so whenever an item goes in the poppers it'll be shot by the dropper and it'll all 
that's not that's not good. Do we have a? It's not working. Let me just. Let me throw water bucket. Wow, that's a. Does this not work? Because this is a weird system here. Hmm. Well, now I gotta fix this. That's great. All right, so after a lot of work and a lot of effort, we have all the glass tubes in, and I put in all the waterways, which honestly, I'm starting to think I should have put underground. I think if we just had it underground, it would be a whole lot cleaner. Well, whatever. I can move it later if I decide to, although I would have to move down the bottom of these, but that won't be too bad. So I suppose the next thing we have to do is get the villager and zombie, and then this is all done. So, for the villagers, I'm just going to set up another minecart track. You saw me do that last episode, so I'm not going to bother uh, showing it here. And for the zombie, they've been spawning a lot around here, so I can probably just grab one. So, let's get on that. Alright, alright, zombie, zombie, I need you to get in this minecart. Okay, so he's going to be there. Did I get him in there? Wait, is he in there? Yes, he's in the minecart, he's in the minecart. The full system is working. It is working. That was a lot easier than I thought. I've already built and destroyed the uh, villager track, so it's not too bad. And that is, let me just destroy this. I'm gonna have to, yep, there's another iron golem. Look how many iron golems are fast. Now there are creepers spawning down there. Oh, oh my god. I literally, like, just slept, Phantom. Why do you do this to me? There's another one. There's some glass that's definitely landing in the system, but... What can you do? So we got Phantoms, and I want to go see... I mean, just look at this. He's just riding around, the villagers get, uh, scared... Another iron golem. That one's already had like four go through. That's amazing. And then we should see an iron golem over there. See, basically, villagers have a timer. I think it's 500 ticks before they can summon another iron golem. So, and this is just perfectly timed. So they'll spawn one. And we haven't had any wrongfully spawned ones yet. Meaning I'm worried the this these two corner ones could spawn them over here. But I haven't seen that yet, so I think we're fine. Uh, I have a name tag I do plan on putting on that zombie. Has Enderman been messing with my base again? Every time. Let me just set my respawn point. Because I did have to move it. There's the name tag. Your name is going to be... Sir Iron... Uh, the, the, the third. There we go. There, there hasn't been three of them, but uh, there probably would be. <laughs> I, he was only the third zombie I got, so. Yep, he's still here. Well, the hard part's going to be name tagging him, because I have to land. Oh, no. Oh my god. Come on, we got this, we got this. We got this. I thought I could parkour that, but I can't. I right, perfect, perfect. We're in the system. Boom. He's name tagged. Want some food? No? Alright. So, this should be... Iron golems, iron golems. There's so many. Oh my god. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these. I had to go make more buckets and we still got more hoppers and stuff. We used all the glass I had though. <sighs> juicy, juicy iron. But yeah, I'm seriously considering putting it in the under area. Put under area is exactly what we did. So, as you can see, I've hooked up all of them to the singular chests, and they've been running for quite a while, honestly. 
because building this uh, underground area is proving more annoying than I thought. We actually have three Phantom Zones. Now, I did AFK it for a bit after we initially built it, but then I realized that it is super ugly and that we should just move it down here into the, yeah, into the under area, as I put it. I don't know why I said it like that, but I did. Now, I can just actually get some leverage in here. You can see each one is hooked up to a central area right there where basically we just have uh, a bunch of uh, items. So everything goes straight to the middle. Although it's not activated yet, I still have to move uh, quite a bit of stuff before I can do that. Now the only problem is it's not too far down, so I actually do break the ceiling a bit. Probably should have went down one of the different holes, but whatever, what can you do? Now, I do have to put in though, Actually, I shouldn't have done that. This floor was annoying to build. Uh, oh no. Okay, whatever. We can... We can fix it later. There we go. I did like a really cool uh, pattern with this. It goes in two separate directions, sort of like a yin-yang, but I like it. So, what we now have to do... Let's do that that and do that so basically i uh grab some ice blocks so it's just easier to go with this sort of thing and once we do all that all the items that land in here will be boosted out up oh, uh three four five phantoms afk really makes things harder doesn't it uh we are the only one on though so it is an option is going straight to sleep a few moments later. It's doing excellent. It's producing a lot. And from the AFK session, all the loot we got is actually in here. So, boom. We have an insane amount of iron in there. I have no idea how many blocks that is, but that is more than enough. Now, I do have to destroy the last of this. And I am going to have to move this chest, which is going to prove difficult. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do that. And we actually have... Spare iron in there. Interesting. But, uh, yeah. So, once we move this, our main concern is not necessarily that, but one other thing. So, I do need, uh, just a chest right here to dump all some stuff in. And one, two, last one, three. So, I figured out exactly how we're going to do our storage system. And honestly, I like this a lot better. So instead of having a mess of wires all running into one central location, and instead of having it just come up to a little bulk chest thing in the middle, I've decided to combine the two, a sort of messy bulk <laughs> instead of just one of them. Which I know sounds worse, but uh, honestly, I think this looks really nice. So... Basically, we have just a bunch of chests facing the outside. I don't really expect all these to get filled up. Although, it would be fun just doing insane amounts of AFK in here so we can one day get all these filled up. Uh, but yeah, basically, we have the packed ice to make sure that uh, the water stream doesn't stop. If I actually put in the water stream, what should happen is... Yep, it'll turn, it'll end, and I need... I don't want to do that. You know, using regular ice instead of water buckets is such a good idea. But thankfully, we have still touched, so we can actually do that. So now, it's going all around. The water will make sure that all the hoppers do it. And you might be wondering how I did these corners. Uh, I just picked a chest and gave it the two extra hoppers. I didn't really... Just, like, this chest only has this one row of hoppers, whereas this chest has two. It doesn't matter too much. It'll still get iron in it either way. It'll just get less amounts. So... Now I just have to connect it to the middle, and how exactly we do that is pretty simple. We just break it like that, and do that. So I can honestly have it going in all four directions, which actually might look a little better. So Alright, now I figured it out. So basically, I brought up the middle water line by a lot, and then made this sort of ninja star shape. So basically the items, uh, do I have any iron? No. So let me just go down here. Let me grab some of this iron just to show you. We might have lost some iron by me just chucking it in, but uh, 
that's fine. I'm going to be AFKing this for quite a long time. So we should be fine. So basically iron goes in. It goes like that. And then it pops out. And it misses. Okay. It wasn't missing before. But I suppose that's expected. We just got to put uh, one glass block above all the shoot locations. So we should be fine. And there we go. That should be it, honestly. I don't expect uh, too much else. This is we throw the iron in. It goes around. It gets shot down onto the first hopper. Meaning whichever one is the, like the corner ones, they're actually gonna get the most instead of the least. Like uh, what I was saying before, how, actually that would be the two connected unless I did the other way. But I believe I kept with the same thing. So basically all the iron, oh, I actually placed this one wrong. That's not good. You have to go there. You have to avoid collisions. So with that done, I just have to hook up those. I'm thinking about doing the upside down hopper thing that I was talking about. Uh, yeah, but we're just gonna... I forgot you can just hold it down and shoot insane amounts of iron. Which I'm actually just gonna do here because it's funny. I didn't actually know you could hold it down, but I suppose that makes sense. It's a bit interesting too. I'm not used to seeing things drop that fast. So all that iron should be going in the system. Now what I could do, this, this actually would be pretty funny, is I could grab these chests and I could put uh, one chest there, one chest there. And then we just uh, fill the chest with uh, items. And then we go and break the chest uh, with the items still inside. So it just falls in the water stream for one mass giant drop. Which honestly sounds pretty fun. So I think we're actually going to go ahead and we're going to do that. Let me just grab the rest of the iron. Now I'm curious to see how much iron is exactly in these now. Ooh, we got quite a bit. This one was hooked up to the chest for the longest. So... Yeah, bunch of iron. Now I haven't had any missed spawning iron golems, which I'm honestly surprised by. I did expect some to spawn in the mountains instead of where I wanted them to. And I have plans to spawn proof if I need to. I just can put a bunch of stone buttons, which are extremely easy for me to get up there and I'll be fine. So I'm just gonna throw in some of that, good. Now I'm putting the rest of the iron. So this this little cube thing, I kind of like it. It looks nice. It's not the most efficient. The most efficient will probably just be putting uh, chests at the bottom of each one, which we kind of do have right now, but whatever. I don't know why I expected that to fall perfectly in there. But it does save us some time. I just got to throw it all in there right now. Now I suppose just start getting work on the giant hopper. You know what? I could use uh, iron blocks to actually uh, build the giant hoppers, the upside down hoppers. That that would be kind of cool. So I believe all the irons headed into these chests. So I guess. Oh wow! Every chest is getting some iron. I don't know how much I like that. I was hoping it would all go into a centralized chest at least for the corners, but it does not seem to be the case. So I suppose it's time to build. Yeah, it's time to build those hoppers. Alrighty, so everything is in place. I've built these upside down hoppers and instead of completely redoing uh, just this, I just basically attached hoppers to the chest so it all just goes. Uh, that is proving to be a problem though because of the mass amount of items going to the middle. They appear to be getting stuck, I think. So if I break that block, first off, the item can rain down. And second, the wood stop, I believe. That's what I think is happening. It's honestly hard to tell. I can't see item. There might be a problem down below. Because I'm not seeing too many items. So we are actually going to go check that out. Uh, the iron blocks I use for the hoppers is good few stacks. Oh no, we're just seeing less iron because they uh, finish. 
that, and there's a giant bowl of just iron there. How much is that? A few stacks. Question is, why is that getting stuck? Is it because of the mass amount of items again? It might be. See, it, when it takes iron in small amounts, uh, there's not really a problem. Because when all the items are together, they tend to clump together, which uh, causes some problems. Now, I'm going to have to go out of here. And there's only one really good way to do that, which is here. Now you can see the exposed redstone on this side. I'm going to try and cover that up, but I think we're doing fine. So the items are all going through the system rather well. I've just been dumping most of the iron here. And I used a good uh, two stacks of iron blocks on these. So I think you can say that's a good amount of iron that we've already got in the system. Now, up, oh, yep, you can see it's, it's cramming. The question is, why is it cramming? Because I don't know why exactly it's doing that. Because if we are to break all these blackstone slabs, then we are left with just that. Well, let me just wait till some items come up, which should be soon. The iron golems die pretty fast. So once one dies, I believe you, and then, yep, one will spawn right there, and then that one will die. Meaning the iron is now in the system, it is going through and should appear here, yep, any moment now. And it gets stuck. It's going up fine, the problem is I can't figure out why it's getting stuck. Hmm. I have any other, got the dirt. Interesting. So, what if I use a slab instead? I'm just trying to figure out what would work here, because I don't really see... Maybe if I had it going in one direction instead of four. I guess we'll try that. So if I just block up... Was it the split directions that was causing problems? Because if so, that perfectly makes sense, honestly, with the water going every way. So we'll get caught in the current of the one water block. Uh, we're going to have to see, though. If that is the case, I'm going to... Yeah, that appears to be the case. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some fake water in here, just so it looks nice from above. Even though it's uh, blocked up. And then we'll just do uh, this to make it look better. So there we go. That is the system done. Meaning we can actually now just AFK this thing. It's, well, I mean, we can AFK before and we can technically just AFK it without this giant thing in the middle. This thing in the middle isn't even needed. It's really just for show. But yeah, we got mass amounts of iron in here now. It's all in the system and it's going to every chest so yeah i'm gonna afk this thing i guess there's nothing else i can do i want all these chests to be full i want them all to be full i want to see how much that's the goal once all these chests are full that that's it that's the entire farm that's if i if i ever need more iron i'll be surprised although honestly i could just build insane iron heavy farms which might actually be kind of fun just spending resources in the wrong ways to annoy people but yeah, all the irons in the system, it's all going in. It seems the split directions was the problem. So I guess that's going to do it for this video, guys. Uh, I hope you all did enjoy this video. It's It's been difficult building this. I ran into a lot of problems. And I was skeptical about the height. Iron Global Swan out there yet again. But haven't had any problems. So yeah. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button down below. It means a lot. Subscribe for more content because I'm doing really out of minecraft stuff right now and i've been working on an upload schedule that i'm gonna try to stick to and it involves our three minecraft series and then a live stream on the weekend which is most likely to be terraria right now although it could be any game rainbow six siege uh overwatch I don't know. overwatch i haven't, I haven't actually played that in a while it's been i haven't seen anything about overwatch in a long time actually so yeah i'll see you all in the next video peace out guys